colleagues that pointed out to me, which is one of the most interesting things about your relationship to this stuff that you do, which is while it's all technology based and you love technology, your thinking is less about the technology per se and more about how that technology can enable people to do something. And this one guy who worked for you said to me, what, what I've watched David is amazing is he doesn't think about user interface the way that you know maybe other people in his he really is thinking about how are people using this and you can see his mind going from this process of how someone does something, how it feels to them when they do it, how they react to it, and what they would want to do next or what you think they would want to do next. And then a lot of your product building is around human beings and their behavior rather than driven by, oh, this is the best way for technology to do something. Do you, do you look at it that way? I know that when you, talk, when you used to talk to me about features for Tumblr, it was always, do you think a photographer would like this or do you think a video maker or a writer or something would like? It was always about that person and what they did for, for themselves rather than just how the thing worked you know, on its own. Well, first of all, that was really easy with Tumblr specifically because it was selfish, right? It was something that I wanted, so I knew what I was excited about and how, how all of these things made me feel. So it was very much about the feel for Tumblr early on, but I, I was always really sensitive to the, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a good word that captures maybe empathy, but just how, how this stuff makes people feel. And I gave the one example of Urban Davey, you know, really tuning me into like, shit, this isn't, this, this isn't just code. And changing the color of a link isn't just changing the color of a link. It's reminding everybody who lives in this space, who cherishes the space and all the people here and all of their relationships here, that there is this like omnipresent force watching them at all times that can come in and change anything. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Experiencing that reaction a few times, I really, I don't know, I, I ended up very, very sensitive to that. Um, and you know, there's, a, there's a bright side to that, which is you can also, with, um, uh, in ways that are in keeping with what's special about the space, what people love and cherish about the space, and with sensitivity to you know, that, that effect that you can have, have as a hand of God coming in. Around, around that and appreciate that, you really can work with the community or work around the community to make the space better and support all of the things that are positive about it and play down all of the things that are negative about it. So, you know, I, I don't know, I, I, that was one experience that got me really clued into that early on. The other one, though, Fred was, was you, and uh, one of the really magical things about sharing space with Fred, um, I shared offices with you for, I mean, aside from working for you for a, a couple of years, and then when uh, after I went to work for Urban Baby, um, after that, that um, I wrapped up over there, had uh, the first person to, to sublet a desk for you when you had built out your new space. So,